Welcome to Woodgast of Science. This week's episode is a continuation of last week's episode uh, when I went to Walmart and picked up a can cooler from Ozark Trail uh, and started converting it over to a wood gas stove that we could use in a tent or in a backpack something that was a very small size. Uh, this was a stainless steel um, can cooler and last week I showed you how to dis disassemble it and get it ready uh, and, and this week I'll show you um, the steps that I went through to um, build this can stove. Uh, so here you can see that there are five eighths, there are seven five eighths holes around the very bottom of this can. Uh, you can see the bottom edge is uh, right down next to that cover, the little bottom cover. Uh, the inside can, um, I have a four part primary air to one part secondary air ratio. Uh, those holes up near the top are 5 sixteenths of an inch in diameter, uh, and the holes down bottom are a combination everywhere from 3 sixteenths up to 5 sixteenths of an inch uh, to come up with that ratio. Um, and you can see here that I do have some holes around the bottom of the inner can, uh, but when the can is inserted, you can see that none of them line up with the outside uh, fresh air intake. Uh, you don't want those to line up because you don't want the wind to uh, cause a problem inside your stove. Uh, here you can see that I have 16 uh, three eights holes around the bottom of that can, and up near the top I have eight three quarter inch holes um, that have been squared off up near the top so when the flame comes up it can escape across the bottom of the uh, pan. There you can see my flame concentrator. It has an inch and a half set hole in the center and there are 16 slits running around the outs um, running around it making sort of an iris pattern. Um, this is a pineapple um, a crust uh, a uh, chunk pineapple can. It has a pull top. It's about exactly the same size as a Progresso soup can, except for it has a rim around the bottom. So it's a pull top, and the bottom has a rim around it uh, that strengthens the edge so you can use it for a pot stand. Um, so here you can see uh, that I can put a full cup of wood pellets into this stove. Uh, and then I, I can sort of use that flame concentrator upside down as a funnel to put in my wood pellets. Then I use just a little tiny bit of liquid heat in the yellow bottle, um, and then I just light it. And I immediately put on my flame concentrator and my pot stand, and that really, really helps it gasify quickly uh, as it starts a chimney effect and pulls air up through those secondary holes. Uh, here you can see in about six minutes I have a nice solid flame, uh, and Believe it or not, in that bright sunlight, that flame is a, a lot uh, stronger uh, than what you see. And I'm starting a boil test at six minutes. Uh, it took just about seven minutes uh, for the water to be boiling. It was about ready to break into a full boil, um, but that's about what I usually do for my coffee uh, when I'm camping. Uh, so here you can see um, with the flame concentrator and the pot stand on, I'm getting a very solid flame. Um, this, this flame is very powerful. Um, in just a second, you're going to see me um, change this pot stand and flame concentrator uh, in thing that I talked to one of my subscribers about this this week and I like to call it a heater lid. Uh, so this heater lid is basically a Progresso soup can that has a whole bunch of holes drilled in the top. Um, these are all 5 16 holes and there's about 48 holes around there and what it does is it allows um, enough airflow through this so it doesn't kill the flame but it keeps all of the heat inside that can and the heat that radiates from that that top can that heater lid is amazing um, and it would work great for heating up a tent um, and here you can see at about 35 minutes I've got a very very powerful flame uh, this continued um, right up through to about 36 37 minutes and then the um, the flame went out um, so there was a little bit of smoke at the very end, um, so I do need to play with my uh, primary and secondary holes a little bit. Um, but the nice part was that that conversion only took about 30 seconds. There was a little bit of smoke for about 30 seconds, and then it went directly into burning charcoal. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, please leave uh, comments um, in the comment area below. Thank you. Goodbye.